My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, the Darkest Republic Estate thereof. Oh, baby, we have a lot of people with normal names that are kind of getting a little high up here. Look at this goddamn shit right here, Runeville? I didn't name you Runeville. Darker? Mansell? Uh, McCry? Bousnois? Roussel? Bohun, Breadville, Poisson, Faton, Mustard, Harcourt, and Umfraville. We have a lot of people that I didn't name. So we gotta get back on top of our game in naming names. Today. Alright. Fulminating Prophet. I am interested in getting the Dark Tambourine. I've mentioned it before. Let's see if anything better is on offer. We've already got a Hell's Hairpin, so I don't need that. I've already got a Focus Ring. Oh, dear lord. Okay. Ancestor's Portrait, plus 50% Resolve XP. So you can power level people with this. That said, I like the more time they spend on lower levels right now, so I kind of want to leave that as is. I also kind of want to try a champion level dungeon, but didn't I lock someone out? No, I don't think I did. Hang on. Have I got, like, a decent ruins team that I could take? Feral plus Shardy Shan, Tempo... No, I don't. I don't really have a third line. Other than Houndmasters, and that's not really great. Okay. Well then, what do we got over here? That's a... Is that a Dark Bracer? It totally is! Plus 5% crit. Plus 5 dodge. And negative 10% damage if it's too bright. So that and Hell's Hairpin become crazy. So, where's Hell's Hairpin? Plus 4% crit, plus 15 accuracy. Then this is plus 5% crit, plus 5 dodge. I have to do this. That makes going nuclear actually viable. I'm nuclear. I'm wild. I'm breaking up inside. Alright, I'm gonna... Hang on. Hang on. How would I run this party? That's torch negative five. I'm trying to think, because I could take Poisson and Faton. Because I can't take... Look, let's face it. I can't take Harcourt. I cannot do that. He won't go along with the Vestal or the Leper. And as a result, I just don't have the numbers in my favor. Shit. Is my response to that? It is shit. Uh, I could fire Bousnois and try and pick someone up, but have I got anyone that I really want to pick up? I don't think so. Yeah, you've got off-guard flawed... Yeah, no, I've checked these out. They're all pretty bad. Damn it. Alright, I guess we go on the other mission then. Which is up here. Formidating Prophet. Okay. It is a mission which would allow me to take these fellows. Now, I do need backline hitters. Which is difficult, because both of my Hellions just leveled up. Moncel can't even hit the backline. You can't move him. The Fulminating Prophet, by the way, you can't move them from the back line. So I can have, like, Roussel just pump in all the damage, but then that's one person hitting the back line. And I guess I would have to have, like, McCray, Mansell, and Rosingit. And they'd just all be standing there, Rosingit constantly doing healing, Roussel doing the constant hits, and then Marcel and McCray would just be bashing down the pews. That's actually not horrible, though. Let's just make sure everyone's got these. I mean, you have the scouting, so I'm really happy about that. And there's no beasts in the Formidating Prophet fight. Okay. We'll do it. Put Moncel there, put Rezinga there, and we'll throw you at the back of the party. Okay. Now, Rezinga, it's time that you upgrade that. To any of you, I think you might actually be able to upgrade your skills again. No? Hero Resolve Level 5. Because you get this at level 1, level 2, level 3, then you... Level 3, level 5. Okay, so there's actually a 
a space of a level there that you don't get an ability for. Okay. Right, that makes sense for why I don't always notice that. Wrathful Bandana and the Bullseye, of course. You take Sacred Scroll and Yunya's Head, again, of course. You take your Wounding Helmet and your Crit Chance. Where is it? Where about did I put that Crit Chance? Hang on, where did I put the Crit Chance? Excuse me? Oh, there it is. Searching for gloves. Perfect. And you, sir. He's... He is unholy. I think I just take the standard setup that I do for him. Or maybe I throw the unholy slayer's ring and give you the swordsman crest. Because then you'll be better at beating down the pews, because the pews are woodwork. So you're not really going to get any bonus against those. Hmm. Yeah, that seems a decent idea to me, actually. I mean, it's either that, or we throw away one of these to pick up the Brawler's Gloves. But that's also negative speed. So would I take negative speed, negative crit for an extra 10% damage over the top of one of these instead? I don't think so. So we'll save all this, and we'll go kill the Fulminating Prophet. So the Fulminating Prophet, his Fulmination ability is Blight. So I think he might be more focused on Blight than he was previously. Uh, let's take six Holy Water. Stacking a bit of these. Three. Uh, one. One. Two of these. And then a stack and a half of torches. Oh, and four anti-venoms. Just in case that actually turns out to be true. I don't think I've ever fought this specific boss before. Or this incarnation of this boss. I should say. Maybe need one less holy water. All right, let's go. This raving creature had to be silenced, but doing so proved maddeningly impossible. How had he survived the stockades, the icy waters, and the knives I delivered so enthusiastically into his back? How had he returned time and time again to rouse the town folk with his wild speculations and prophecies? Yes, what wild speculation? Hey, the ancestor is a bit of a dick. The echoes of his mindless tittering reverberate maddeningly. This gives me more options, I guess. Eh, not really. Nice dodge. Have to use my first shovel here. That's going to be super annoying Even if I have two the more. the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. My nice scout. Nice. Only way I would have gone down that way is... Oh, damn. Alright. That's going to be pretty good. The fight is definitely up here as well. The only way I would have gone over the left is if there was the secret room there. I'm going to just guarantee my disarm here. Well, it's still not guaranteed. I don't know what percentage chance the trap has to not be disarmed but it can just resist okay nice heirlooms are pretty important right now specifically uh deeds deeds and crests about god damn it you're curious of course she reads it and he's a weapon tinker did that replace it replaced ruins explorer great so now she has a way lower chance to scout for us because uh, Ruins Explorer was 20% increase in scouting chance, whereas Ruins Scrounger is 10%. Spirits are lifted, and they stacked. And purpose is made clear. They stacked. Oh, oh well. Don't get curious, thank you. We might actually just have to rest here. Like, this is kind of insane. But this should be the final room before the boss fight. God, she does nowhere near as much damage as I thought she would. And it whips. Slice him and dice him.
Okay, body heal, nice crit. Just cut him down to size, baby. Easy. Monstrous size has no intrinsic. Hold your bluff, friend. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. And here comes the stress heals for everyone. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. We got our scouting, and this is definitely the boss. And there's no fights before the boss as well. Right, we use the firewood so we can buff everyone. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. That one had to happen. And you also want to debuff, but I'll do that later. There's no reason to play and take down. Nothing of, uh, is of size 2 in the upcoming fight. We'll do Prey for everyone's protection. And then Zealous Vigil to prevent the nighttime ambush. We don't have anything that costs 1, so we'll just end there. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength okay. to follow it. Cleanse us in. No! God damn it. His history of sin is too much to bear. All right, we do have holy water for everyone, which is good. Holy water. Holy water, holy water, holy water. You lose your negative speed, and let's go into the fight. In Radiance, may we find victory. Oh god, did I get everyone's rights ab uh, abilities right? I hope the I did. man hides there, behind the pews, spouting his mindless drivel. Calamitous prognostication. Now, I can't move this guy. His move resist is three, uh, 320%. I literally cannot do it. So now it's just about attacking these pews. So both of us melee characters are just going to hit the pews. I will do one turn to mark you, and then I will just start hitting you. It's a fulminate right there. Everyone resisted the bleed. Nice work. We'll do a small party heal so everyone's back on full health before we actually start taking damage here. Look, Ruin, he's religious, so he's actually got 15% protect. That was a dumb idea. Clamor's prognostication on both of those targets is going to be pretty bad, though. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Very nice. Okay. Continue the onslaught. Some stress right there. Not much. Double resisted stun, though. Go for the heal on the character that's actually taking damage. And then two members in the middle of the party. Oh, that's real bad. That was really bad. Goddamn, she is going to be on death's door. 100%. He is, sorry, she is, rather. Uh, maybe heal yourself. Possibly prevent yourself from going to death's door. Because if you get, yeah, fulminate. Oh, it crit you. Injury. Luckily, you resisted. Fear. Rubble of Ruin does 25 damage. Yeah, you're on death's door. God damn it. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Uh, that's really annoying. Oh, he's not marked anymore either. That's shitty. I don't really know if I can cure this at the moment or afford to run. Give them no quarter. Crit the pew. God damn it. Oh, that was really bad. She should act before. Oh, wow. All right, I'm going to heal her. So she'll only go down to death's door from the rubble of ruin. And now that was pretty fucking bad. That was pretty damn bad. I'll be honest with you. Okay, that's fine. It's just how this fight goes. Stun against him is not super likely. Just roll for the crit. Nice. Just roll for the damage. She resists. Perfect. 
She even resists the stun. That's actually incredible. We've got a better chance if she just fires and then we just do another hit next turn. Full party heal. You can't kill with judgment, so don't try. Ouch. He's on death's door. From becoming unwound. That's fine. That doesn't do damage, so it doesn't trigger death door procs. And you're dead. Did he foresee Ooh. his own demise? I care not. So long as he remains dead. So as you can see, we got two consecrated pews there for killing the actual pews. Uh, which I said incorrectly in an earlier episode are worth the same value as a puzzling... T uh, sorry, a puzzling... What are they called again? Puzzling trapezohedron? Those are worth 2.5k. This is worth 1.25. So it's it's worth half. This is still pretty good for free. I don't want to risk it. I'm just leave. Plus, that makes for a very short mission. I can go on another one. Okay, on guard, replace steady. That's actually incredible for Roussel. I want to lock that in. And Ruins Explorer. Well, we lost the Ruins Explorer, and now we have another one. In truth, I cannot tell how much time has passed since I sent that letter. Okay, embark. What would I find? Looking for a low-level mission. Because now I can take something like... Umfraville, Harcourt, Poisson, and Brettville. But Harcourt, you can only use Manacles and Beast Bile from slots 2 and 3. And you've got a Fear of Mankind and your Cophobe. Okay, well, I actually want to fire Harcourt, to be honest. Let's see if I can find someone better, because there's too many things I need to fix with you. No. You're an Unholy Hater and a Ruins Tactician. That's not bad. That is not bad. We need to change your abilities. Do you have the cure? No, you don't. It's not the cure. It's leeches, actually. For removing target diseases on friendly. Snuffbox removes target disease on friendly as well. Hang on. Self only and one comp... Wow, it removes two diseases. That is a lot better than I ever gave it credit for. It, it was changed. It used to be Snuffbox, time cost one, self only, remove target disease. I think that was it. I'm not certain. You're a precise striker. That's Malay. Yeah. I think I'll actually take Kane, which means uh, Harcourt. Excuse me? Excuse me? There we go. Goodbye, Harcourt. I haven't invested Another anything in him, so I'm fine. Battered and broken. Cast aside like a spent torch. That's what you get, buddy. For being spent. Okay. So I'm doing a short mission in here. I think I can take Carne. Start leveling her up. That's actually going to be pretty important. Carne, you have a specific trinket for you. That's right. Extra crit, trap disarm, speed, scouting chance, but extra food consumed? That's not going to be so bad because it's a short mission, so I only have to take two extra food for the possible procs. So let's have you take... What the hell? What the hell just happened there? Okay, there is a bug going on right now, I think. She has a trinket that doesn't exist. And I think I might have just lost my trinket. Nope, unequipped all trinkets and sorted. What is this? Hang on, let's bring her up and then try and give her a trinket. Horror, uh, something not that great. So let's give you Trujin's charm. Okie dokie, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You know what? I'm going to exit to the main menu and reload. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to exit to desktop and reload try and make sure I get that bug quashed because I don't want to lose a trinket to a bug and it looks like something could do that and laughter could be heard from the tavern okay that's gone 
And now let's see if you can take a trinket. Perfect, you can. Raider Talisman, and I don't know if I want to increase your blight chance, but that does increase your speed. What else have you got? Sort by character class restriction, so nothing. Fair enough. I guess I could try and give you something to increase your crit, but your crit on range skills is really difficult to increase. Extra crit if torches. Ah, that's actually pretty good, though. Mm, I, th I think that's the good setup, though. Poison darts is pretty damn powerful. Still has a crit mod as well, which is great. <sighs> Extra damage against Mart? What? Really? Okay, these are a lot better than I ever gave them credit for. So you're a backline party member, which means I put you in the wrong position initially. Excuse me, can all of you get the flip out of my team? Thank you very much. God damn, I have to double click each and every one of you? N no, not me! Don't worry, we're going to the ruins, it's okay. Now, I also want to start leveling up on Preville because I've made a lot of investment in you. So you're going to be my frontline party member, along with Mustar. I think I might take uh, Poisson for runes. Oh, nice, you're a runes adventurer. And you're evasive, damn. You've also got a mark, and both of those people are markies. Okay, good. You're coming with. So now let's have a... Oh god, I could take Breville instead, though. But no one can apply a, a, a mark if I take Breville. Okay. Wolfreville actually can't upgrade, because he still hasn't even gone on a single gosh-danged mission. Poisson... Uh, actually, you'll unlock the demon one. I might drop Weakening Curse, go Abyssal Artillery, Word Reconstruction, Vulnerability, and Demons. That seems a decent idea to me. Star, you actually can upgrade your skills as well, so just upgrade those two. Only really relevant ones. You don't need to unlock everything. You've got an amazing skill set already. You are point blank shot. And then from then on, you just pistol shot and grape shot blast. Maybe use a tracking shot to finish someone off if you can. Yeah. Let's make certain that they're actually holding the goddamn skills that I give them, by the way. Because I so often forget that. Okay, you... T Why? You've got all the wrong shit on. Damn it. Alright, we're done. Alright, set up Bark, and then we'll set up the trinkets. So you already have Quick Draw, so I don't actually need to give you the Quick Draw charm, but I might still do it, maybe? It is extra crit on the first turn. Extra crit on the first... You know what? I'm doing it. We're doing it. And extra accuracy and crit. You've already got extra damage. I think I give you extra accuracy and crit with the focus ring. That is such, such a horrible dodge stat, though. That said, I don't care. Uh, so you go to the front of the party immediately after the first move. So you can actually take things that will give you frontline party member self. Your crit is like 5%. That's that's not a problem. I can remove that. Give you the Brawler's Gloves. You have nothing to increase your aim, though, so I might have to give you Fortunate Arm Bracelet. Oh, wow. No, no, no. We'll go with those. Thank you very much. Increase your crit and your speed. Ah, uh, yes. You've already got your setup, and you can probably get away with taking... Hmm... I want to go, like, Yunya's Head, Ancestral Map. That'll, that'll probably work. It's a short mission. It's not going to be so bad. Plus, he's also got Runes Adventurer, so he won't be taking that much stress damage. All right, we'll do it. Provision. Short mission, I'll take 12, because I've got an unreliable healer. Take one. 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 Oh, I already have one. Never mind. Shit! Grave Robber comes with a shovel. Nice. Nice. Once holy idols and shrines have been corrupted to favor pagan gods, holy water can restore them to their rightful condition. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now... 
Boron. Take those treasures with me, thank you very much. Okay, here we go. Let's see how effective this turns out to be. I'm guessing not at all. Confidence One down. surges as the enemy crumbles. Damn it. Sky slaps? Oh, I thought I was gonna get sky slaps in time. Get sky slaps now? Come on! Oh, totally we did. Awesome. As the fiend falls, a faint no stress heal though. Another kill. Awesome. This guy is not going to move in time, unfortunately. She could have. She actually has 11. This guy has 9, I think. 8. Yeah. So I should have moved first on the Grave Robber. But your speed stat doesn't just dictate immediately the initiative in battle. It just gives hints to the characters as to what their initiative ought to be. I actually don't need the scouting other than to show me traps right now. Explore 90% of rooms. I'm just going to go for 100%. It really doesn't matter to me. Nothing really matters. Anyone can see. Nothing really matters. Nothing really matters to me. The way is lit. Oh, the God. I forgot to set my party up again. That's we stupid. That's dumb. That was dumb. It. So every single time after you do that, you need to reset your party positioning. Because you need to put the guy back in front to set him up for another strike. Oh, nice. Have this guy go first. Come on. Wait. I can't guarantee it, unfortunately. I'm just going to do Sky Slap. Yeah. So now this guy bayonet jabs, throws the other one under the bus by moving it forward so it can only bayonet jab. Removes the ability of anyone to quarrel this turn. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Precision and power. <laughs> Having this super high crit team is so fun. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Before I forget, let's swap you guys. Excellent. Uh, I shouldn't get any more scouting procs. I already have all the scouting done. Boom! One down. That's not as much damage as I would like to be seeing, but... Oh, lunge is amazing as well. It moves you to the very front of the party. But then I just reshuffle everyone. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? So very soon we're going to start getting a lot more dance party stuff happening. And that's using the Jester, the Grave Robber, the, the Highwayman, using their movement the skills to basically control the field at all times. And that's what I'm going to refer to as a dance party. There used to be a thing that was just a two-member dance party where you'd have a Crusader and another Crusader both on the first and second roll, just using Holy Lance, and it would move. It's super powerful as a move. It hits the back line as well, which is really good for a Crusader that usually doesn't get to hit the back line. Uh, hang on. Grape Shot would be amazing right now. Actually, I'm going to finish you. Grape Shot would be amazing right now. Come on. Eh, I guess anything would be amazing at this point, then. And he doesn't even get a chance to act. But yeah, you'd have two crusaders in the front of your party. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. And as soon as any one of them got back to the second slot, they'd use Holy Lance, and then the other one would be pushed back to the second slot, he'd use Holy Lance, and you'd kind of just juggle them like that. And that was the Crusader Dance Party. But that got changed, I believe with the re uh, releases version, that was what was changed. The Crusader can now only use Holy Lance from the back two slots. So you can do a dance party, it just has to be further back. Which does make it less viable. If I get a crit ever on one of these opening shots, like that, it's going to be really interesting. It's weird, it's a mental thing, but if that did one more damage, I would have been way more pleased with it. Just one more damage would have been enough for me. Really? I haven't seen half dodge a hue in a while. 
Excuse me, could you actually heal for something, please? Yeah. And she unfortunately doesn't have an ability to reset, so usually when I do that move to the front, I'm saying, oh, I'm gonna be killing them this turn, so it doesn't matter. Didn't end up happening that way, unfortunately. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. That's actually not bad, the Drifter's Buckle. I'll ignore the Jade. No need for it right now. Also, you ought to move forward. Hunger Pang. Figured it'd have to happen sooner or later. Lock display. I'll hit this with a shovel because I know that there aren't two blockages upcoming, so it doesn't matter. In fact, I know there's no blockages upcoming, so I don't need a shovel. Alright. Okay, let's actually test ourselves out on an opponent with health. Well, tells you about how effective that was. Sky slaps. Really? Come on. I was one damage ultimately off killing that guy in the back there. Yep. Yeah. Turns out not to matter. Shanks the back line. No bleed, so it really doesn't matter again. And solid dodges. Damn. Is my guy gonna act first? He has a chance to. Alright, he has a chance to. I'm gonna try and butter this up. Because then a Sky Slaps will actually kill both. Damn it! I didn't need to take that damage. And now Sky Slap can't even hit either. God damn it. Solid heal. How quickly the tide turns. Yeah. Alright. Very not pleased about that. So he gives himself a buff. And I've done that because the next room that I go into is going to be... Well struck. Is going to be a battle. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. So it's actually a decent setup for the next room. Portrait. Kind of want that as well. I'll drop Centrique for it. Debuff Stone. That one's only worth like 750 or something. So if I get another e emerald, it's going to be worth way more. Never mind, I'll keep that. Okay. So I'll poke my head out in this direction so that I can disarm for some free stress reduction. Then we'll go over here. Oh god, I fucking forgot to reset this guy again. God damn it. A singular strike. Good crit though. Yeah, Decisive nice crit. Ability. That's why I did it. I was like, there's a decent chance I crit here. Hmm. The darkness holds much worse than mere trickery and boogeymen. Sex so contents are yours. Okay, I'm not going to be using the torches anymore, so I'll throw those away. Okay, that could finish the mission, but I want to go do some stress heal by finishing this trap and curio up here. Plus, the curio could easily just have some stuff in it that I want. I might even try and go for this curio as well. Who knows? Crate is empty. Can you heal that curio from here? Heal? Heal? Fix it? Nice. I'm going to cause more stress than I saved by doing that. Yep, ended up causing more stress than I saved, of course. Stashed heirlooms. Solid. And you fix that one for some more stress heal. Perfect, we're out of here. 
The shifted corridors and sloped walls of our ancestry are beginning to feel familiar. So we didn't get about as much money as I wanted, but we did get an incredible amount of heirlooms there. We didn't get as many deeds as I would have liked. But again, heirlooms. It's good enough. Because we were running low on basically everything. So Phobia is horrible, Warren's Phobia is horrible, and Early Riser is actually surprisingly good on a leper. Same as Quick Reflexes on a leper. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. All right, your speed goes from five to five. Never mind, that doesn't help me, unfortunately. But does this gain a crit mod in any level? I can't tell, unfortunately. It gains accuracy on the first level. This gains crit mod. This loses its negative crit mod, which is weird. I didn't know there was such a thing as negative crit mod. And then this gets better, but it's still shit. <laughs> Let's face it. You use this to finish off an enemy, basically. Kane, actually, I want you to upgrade your skills because these all get way better. Yeah, crit mod goes up and accuracy goes up. This... Crit mod goes up, bleed resist goes up, chance to bleed resist goes up, accuracy goes up. God damn, everything goes up with you. Crit mod, accuracy, self buff, all go up. The blight even goes up from three to four on the first level. That's incredible. Uh, and then Poisson, you need to just get levels up on your healing. And then the versatile other skills that you have. All right. That is actually a surprising amount that's being done here. In this episode, my name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Darkest Dungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself, and we will see you next time.